Before we get started, I'd like to say that if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you're feeling extra adventurous, give that gentle tap to the thumbs up button down below. Anyways, enjoy the video. Now is the absolute best time to build your credit score, but beware, there is a method to the madness that I'm gonna teach you right here, so pay very close attention. And save this video because not only am I gonna share with you the best credit cards for beginners, but I'm gonna share with you the exact process on how to get your credit score above 700 plus within six months to a year. For simplicity of this video, I've broken the credit cards into two tiers, beginner and intermediate. So the first step is to get a beginner credit card. Sounds easy, right? Dead wrong. With thousands of options out there, including annual fees and high annual percentage rates, there's almost no good choice to make. Well, lucky for you, I've compounded a simple list of beginner credit cards that you can apply for that's going to tie into the entire process of getting your credit score above 700 as fast as possible. And these credit cards are also poor credit friendly, meaning if you've had a little accident with your credit in the past, this credit card and this process that I'm sharing with you is also going to work for you. So coming in at number one is the Discover It's Secured Credit Card. The best thing about this credit card is you can see if you're pre-approved with no harm to your credit. The reason why this is the number one card for building your credit is because it offers reward. It offers 2% cash back at gas stations and restaurants up to $1,000 in combined purchases each quarter and then 1% cash back on basically everything else. And then on top of that, they'll match your cash back for the first year of you applying for this credit card. So essentially you're going to get 4% cash back on gas stations and restaurants and 2% cash back on everything else you spend on your very first year. Some other benefits of the Discover It Secured Card is that you have a no annual fee. They provide you a refundable security deposit, which works the same as any secured credit card where you put down a certain amount of money, let's just call it $500, and they're going to essentially give you a line of credit for $500. And the best thing about the Discover It Secured Credit Card is they want you to escape using your deposit. So you can get your deposit back after seven months when they begin automatically reviewing your account to see if you can convert it to a standard unsecured credit card. And if it couldn't get any better, the Discover It Secured Credit Card also offers a FICO monitor. The Discover It Credit Card is going to show you the length of time in your score. It's also going to show you your approximate FICO score. Coming in at number two is the Platinum Secured Credit Card from Capital One. But the Capital One is a fantastic card because you can also see if you can get pre-qualified for the card without applying for it so you know if your chances of getting approved are good before running that hard inquiry. So there's no annual fee with the Capital One Secured Card. There's a minimum deposit of $49, $99, or $200. Similar to the Discover It Credit Card, the Capital One Platinum Secured Card also offers something similar to the Credit Karma and the FICO monitoring service as well. You can pull up your mobile app and check your credit score. And the third card I'm gonna tell you about for beginners to apply for is gonna be the Secured Bank of America Credit Card. Now, if you already have a relationship with Bank of America, this is gonna be even easier to get pre-approved for. But the reason why I think Bank of America is incredible is because later on, once you establish a credit score with them, their unsecured credit cards are almost unbeatable in the credit realm. Unfortunately, unlike the Capital One Secured Card and the Discover It Credit Card, there's no pre-qualification for this. You do have to outright apply. And I'm not going to lie, if you have a ton of overdrafts in your checking account, or if you have a bad relationships, meaning you have charge-offs or anything, I would highly avoid applying for this card in general. And the minimum security deposit is $200, and it can go as high as $5,000. Not that I'd really recommend anyone to put down $5,000 for a secured credit card. It seems like a waste of money. But if you want a larger line of credit, that's available to you as well. And just like all the cards, if you aren't catching a trend yet, it offers a FICO monitoring system. And then the last ones that I'm not going to pull up a screenshot of exactly is going to be any local credit union that you have, like Navy Federal. Any local credit union that you have a relationship with is most likely going to approve you as a candidate to apply for that secured credit card. And if you get declined from all four of the ones that I just showed you above, then you're going to have to apply for what's called an Open Sky Secured Credit Card. Now, this one is a little bit crappier of a secured card. It does have an annual fee. It has a super high interest rate. But here's the deal. If you don't get approved for any of the cards prior, maybe you have a bankruptcy, a delinquency, anything of that sort that's holding you back from getting approved for those cards, then you're going to need to start somewhere. And unfortunately, if you're not getting approved for any of the other better tiered secured cards, you're going to have to just start with this one and pay 35 bucks. But to be honest with you, it's a very small price to pay in order to improve your credit score quickly. Just make sure that you cancel that card before one year ends so that you don't get charged an annual fee the second time around because you obviously don't want to keep the card forever and pay $35 
dollars for the rest of your life. Here's a quick credit hack. You apply for a secured credit loan. Now this is similar in the way that a secured credit card works, except you give the bank $1,000, they're gonna give you a $1,000 loan that you pay back in a year's time frame. You wanna make sure that you apply for this so that you repay it in a year's time frame. And the whole point is that by the time you finish paying back that loan, you get your $1,000 back and you have a completed loan paid in full on your credit report and not many people have that. So it reports and it looks different on your credit profile and you become more trustworthy to banks in the future. If you want more details on how to apply for a secured loan, check out the link in the description below. Also check out the other videos on my channel because I have an entire credit hack series. It gives you tips and tricks that you've probably never seen before on YouTube, so don't forget to check that out. Now here are three rules that you can use to maximize your credit score. Rule number one, never go over 10% of your credit limit. I know many people have told you this before and you probably heard this before, never go over 30%, never go over 25%, just keep it at 10%. So let me put this in example. If you have a credit limit of $300, never use more than $30. In fact, I would just put it in your brain right now that this credit card is solely for the purpose of building credit and you shouldn't even use more than $10 of your credit limit. Rule number two is that you're gonna pay off your card before the statement cuts. But for the sake of this video not being 25 million minutes long, I'm not gonna go into details about how this specifically works, but luckily for you, I have made another video, so check it out in the description below. And rule number three, well, there actually is no rule number three. You just do this to process for four to six months and your credit score should increase extremely quickly. You're gonna notice that if you have a lower score, you're gonna notice your score increase faster than after you get over 700, it's actually gonna increase a lot slower. So after four to six months, or if your score hits 670 to 680, even sooner than that, then you need to apply for an intermediate car. Up first is gonna be the Capital One Quicksilver, no annual fee. You have to make sure that you choose your intermediate card very wisely because this is gonna be the card that you're gonna keep for the rest of your life. A large portion of your credit score is actually judged by the amount of time or length of time you've had open active trade lines. And part of the reason why I told you to apply for the Capital One Platinum Secured Card in the first place is because you can call Capital One on the back of the credit card and you can see if you can convert that card to the Quicksilver no annual fee card without even generating an inquiry. Worst case scenario, if you can't, I recommend you to keep the secured card open for minimum one year until you can get approved for that or until you can get a credit score generated of at least 670 to 680 to be able to apply online for the Capital One Quicksilver. Make sure it's the no annual fee one. The reward should be 1.5% cash back. It should have no annual fee. You should get a credit limit of somewhere between a thousand to three thousand dollars depending on your credit score. You might even get a little bit more. Now the second credit card you can apply for is going to be the Apple credit card. Now this is a perfect credit card for intermediate credit, meaning anywhere between that 650 to 700 credit score range, which you should have by now at least four to six months after following the other rules below. And you can get daily 3% cash back with every purchase on, on pretty much every Apple product, including Nike, T-Mobile, Uber Eats, Exxon, Mobile, Panera Bread, Walgreens, etc. And you get 2% cash back when you use Apple Pay pretty much wherever you can. And then you also get 1% cash back whenever you use the titanium card in stores or your virtual online card number. The Apple credit card is a wonderful credit card. It's an unsecured credit card and it's going to be a credit card without an annual fee that you can keep for the rest of your life. And your next option is going to be the Discover It non-secured card. Now, just like the Capital One secured card, you can actually call the number in the back of the credit card, the Discover customer service, and you can ask them to convert your secured credit card if they haven't already to an unsecured credit card without even running a hard inquiry. Discover It has tons of great credit cards. My personal favorite is the 5% cash back every quarter where you get to choose is actually one of the 5% category and you can just stack rewards. Another great perk of Discover is that none of their credit cards that are unsecured or secured have an annual fee. So you can keep this card for the rest of your life following the first two rules that I told you on the secured credit card and increase your score fast. Just like the Discover It credit card, the next credit card that you can apply for that's gonna be unsecured is going to be the Amazon Rewards credit card. Now this, for applying for it, is gonna give you a $150 gift card just for doing that and you get 5% cash back for using Amazon services. So if you spend a lot of money on Amazon every single year, this can really add up and even pay for your Amazon Prime membership plus some. Now the final unsecured credit card that would be worth applying for but is more on the higher end is the City Cash Card. You can earn 5% cash back on all your purchases in the top eligible category spend, each billing cycle up to $500 spent and then you get 1% cash back on everything else. So unlike the Discover card where you can only choose 5% to get back every quarter at either Target, Amazon or gas stations or things like that where it changes every quarter, the City Cashback card is gonna give you 5% on your top category and it resets every single month. Of course, this credit card has no annual fee so it's gonna be a 
no-brainer to sign up for as well. So the method to the madness is that you start out with a secured card and then you convert that into an unsecured card. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even apply for multiple cards at once so that way you increase your score and have more active trade lines reporting out there at the same time. Just remember that it's essential to follow the two rules that I told you, keeping your balances under 10% at all time and then paying off your balance before your statement cuts. Again, the videos explaining those in full are down below in the description, so don't forget to check those out. And lastly, if you want to get the deposit back from your secured credit card, if you weren't able to convert those into unsecured credit cards, after you get approved for any of the unsecured credit cards, when your score ranges from 670 to 680, you could and you should close out your secured credit cards. And yes, it's going to take a little bit of a hit on your credit score, but it's better than tying up two, $300 of your security deposit for the rest of your life just to have another active reporting trade line out there. You can go ahead and close out that secured credit card and then keep your unsecured credit lines and even keep applying for that and recycling it every six months. So every six months, for example, you can keep applying for one of these unsecured credit cards and then keep utilizing the two rules until you build up a cushion of at least four to five credit cards that's going to give you a limit somewhere around thirty to $50,000.